Welcome to Bothering the Band. My name is Ryan Bynack. With me, as always, is the backbone of this brand and podcast, Abby Levy. I've had a lot of coffee. The Magic are beating the Warriors right now. We have a great episode with Old Currents, who came to us via Abby's best friend. And here we go. Test, test, test. How's it going? Hey, there we go. Man. Down, huh? <laughs> there we go. There we go. Um, Joseph, is anyone else joining us? No. Uh, unfortunately, the other guitar player and singer is working at the moment. So you're stuck with me today, friend. All right. It's all good, man. It's all good. Welcome to Bothering the Band. We're happy you're here. Um, tell, tell us, just give a little intro, tell us your role in, in old currents and, uh, where you are at in the world right now, where we're at in the world and my role. So, uh, I'm the, mostly the lead guitar player. So I'm playing a lot of the leads okay. depending on which song you're hearing. It's either me singing lead or Jake, the other guitarist who's unable to be with us. He's singing. Um, so we're, we're both the main songwriters, depending on who's singing it. But I mostly play lead, do backups, depending on who's the lead guy and where we're out in the world. I mean, more specifically, we're, we're from northern New Jersey and uh, we're, around the, we're, we're trying to get this album out. So we're just crazy excited about that and, and thankful for you guys for having us on to, to talk about it as well. Oh, yeah, man. So uh, a couple of things. One, uh, my name is Ryan. This is Abby. Um and you hit on a couple of things. One, Northern New Jersey, which I have a soft spot in my heart, specifically for the music of Northern New Jersey. And you guys fit them. You guys, you guys definitely fit in and carry your weight with that, you know, lineage of punk rock from from Northern New Jersey. So way to go. That being said, uh, the new stuff from the album is, is phenomenal. And I read somewhere that you guys all, you're good at bringing ideas. Like if someone comes to the table with a fucking idea, you're like, let you roll with it all the time, correct? A hundred percent. I mean, me and Jake are the key songwriters, but in no way is it like our song and this is what you're doing. But that's definitely not how we do it because we don't feel that's the best way. Like. If you're going to cook something, I kind of like a fusion of a couple of things. You know what I mean? I don't just want to keep yeah. it one, one straight idea, but we, we take the same style when it comes to music because it's weird. We have this cohesive, like, well, I, I say cohesive, but this this thing that sounds like it's been polished and we've been working on it. But you wouldn't guess that all of us have such a different background in what pace, like for music. Like if all, if all four of us showed up to a gig and we drove in separate cars, you wouldn't guess that we played together based on what you were hearing yeah. out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so, very cool, man. Yeah. Um, who wrote the Spotify description of the band? Um, probably Jake. He, he likes to write a lot. I, I usually let him do that. If, if you ever, if anybody ever gets the chance to meet us, he'll be the talker. Not that I don't like to talk to people, but you could tell he really likes to talk. So that that's definitely him. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, shout out Jake, shout out to the band. Um, we're happy to have you. It's a bummer. They can't be here, but you're, you're representing well already. And, um, no joke. We, we love the tunes too, you know, like, um, it's definitely right up our alley. So, um, are you ready for some really dumb questions? No, anything you got for me. Okay. A lot of the, uh, so I did doing research. I don't know if this is like a formulaic press release or something, but every fucking article about you starts with hit the ground running. <laughs> so I'm wondering if you jumped from like some, if you jumped from your roof, do you think you could actually physically hit the ground running or do one of those movie somersault things without doubt? I would completely break myself. I busted my <laughs> left knee twice. I would not be graceful and I would be screaming for help instantly. I would not hit the ground running, nor would there be a somersault on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we'll practice. Um, <laughs> exactly. So what is the, just, this is a general your your last glory Ooh, my last glory 
besides Honestly, this podcast? Obviously, besides this podcast. The thing I can think of most that, that comes up the second you said it, like without trying to think too much, the immediate thing that came up is was actually a show that we had played at Debonair Music Hall in Teaneck. We, we were lucky enough to play with uh, World Inferno Friendship Society, and they were incredible. And it was just one of the better nights because it was, it was pretty, I think it was almost a year after our album release. So we had like boasted about it to that. People came out and it was just an incredible show. And we were lucky enough to play with them. Um, RIP to the, to the main guy. I can't even think of his name right now, but he, he had passed over this past year. So it, it, it's, it immediately came to my head that that show, because that was just an, an incredible experience to be able to play with them. Yeah. Uh, well said, man. And then naturally, what's your last defeat? My last defeat. Um, let's see. Oh, we're getting deep real quick, hitting the ground running, huh? My last defeat. Well, again, you're, it's up to you to define this because you could be like, I stubbed my toe and therefore the coffee <laughs> table defeated me or something like that. You know? uh, yeah, I guess I won't get too. Uh, well, funny enough, me and the drummer, Greg, we just moved into an apartment together like not even a month ago. So Where the fuck is Greg? Uh, Greg's working. Everybody's working. They're all too busy. Oh, man. Yeah, they're, they're all trying to have real lives when I'm here playing rock star and just running around playing guitar in my underwear. But uh, <laughs> my last defeat was Greg can't cook to save his life, so I cook and he cleans. That's how we do it. Um, we got home with some food, and we might have forgot to put the chicken in the freezer. So the wonderful Cajun buttered chicken I was going to make yesterday, that didn't get made. We, we made some frozen taquitos in the air fryer instead. <laughs> Oh, That's man. my most recent defeat because that I was excited for that chicken. It's a very practical defeat. Uh, for those listening, I have to point out, uh, uh, Joseph, you have a you have a dope anarchy thing, which I I appreciate, and then also you have a neck scar shirt on. Another New Jersey. Oh, we absolutely have a neck scar. I love those guys. Yeah, they're a good band, man. They're yeah. We, we go. just played with them not too long ago up in um, Philly, Kung Fu Necktie. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Um, you said T-neck too. Uh, it's bringing back um, like so many memories and it's a perfect segue. What's the best thing about New Jersey? What's the best thing about New Jersey? And let me, while you think about it, let me say that New Jersey, I'm, I'm, I lived in New York for a long time. New okay. Jersey gets a, New Jersey gets a bad rap. You get a horrible because, rap. <laughs> because of, because of the highways and because of the show, but however, if you go west, it's stunning. Yeah. It's beautiful. Also, just to bring it back to music, so many great musicians have come out of fucking New Jersey. Like Absolutely. insanely amount, including Frank Sinatra. Like it's insane. Yeah. I mean, you, you wouldn't guess a small little state has so much talent coming out of it. Um, the best thing about New Jersey to me is you can have any slice of life without having to go very far. If you want to live your city life, Hoboken, Jersey City, any of those, they're, Morristown, they're, they're within 40 minutes of living a slightly more like West Milford drawn back. You don't want to see your neighbors. You want to go down to the yeah. beach, that's an hour drive. You want to live just a comfortable life for your family and that's what you're trying to do you can go to glen rock ridgewood and any of the sort it's just it's it's dealer's choice whatever you want you can you can get anything out here which is which is what i i really like about it because depending on my mood i might want any of the any of the, the options <laughs> and you can go i mean depending on where you're at you can get to the city very easily yep. in public transit and have a blasty blast exactly. um Every time I would go to New Jersey from the city, I had these, this was like the series of thoughts. It was like, we would get a little inebriated and then be like, we should move here. And then the minute we'd sober up, we're like, fuck this. Sorry. No, absolutely not. 
And I guess the other thing is, and like you said, there's just a lot of musical talent in New Jersey. Like if you can go to any venue out here and you're going to hear some, some great bands if you want to look or if you want to look for some bands who aren't necessarily haven't made it yet. They, there's still so much talent over here. If it's Debonair, if it's Crossroads, if it's down at um, the Wonder Bar, like wh wherever you're going, there's a lot of talent to be heard. So, I mean, for a musician, especially someone who likes music, it's a blessing to be here. Yeah, very cool, man. Very, very cool. Um, if you had to play, <laughs> actually, let me. Oh which terminal in Newark Airport would you would you rather play a gig in? Which terminal? Yeah. <laughs> For which airline? <laughs> um, I, I, I guess I got to think who's gonna want to listen to us. I'm gonna, going, I think you got to go spirit, my man. Yeah. Yeah. I think I like, <laughs> spirit. I, I think I agree with you. Yeah. You got to go spirit. Cool. You know, you might get some people to like thrash around the, the bookstore. Yeah, get a circle pit going in the airport. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, if you had to be homeless in one, in, in, in a city, which city would you choose? New Orleans. Good choice. They got amazing choice. food and they got music just just outside, so you can you can live a pretty decent life. Whatever you can, yeah. Hopefully, and, get something to eat, and you won't freeze to death. Also, yes. <laughs> Have you and ever what? been electrocuted? Uh no, no. I, I work. Uh, I do some. I'm a contractor for Verizon, and we do construction work for them, so I'm pretty handy around stuff like that. I haven't been electrocuted. Thank goodness. Knock on wood. <laughs> oh, devils! You're doomed now. <laughs> now, now I'm thanks for doing that to me <laughs> we were trying to play off words with current you know like electrical ah, current this and shit is like that. what we're playing at okay i see yeah, you now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um speaking of currants like is that how you say it like black and red the fruit uh how do you say it currants? that's not how we say it we say old currants yeah so yeah, it's like okay. old is in something like past and current is in like right now i i <laughs> No, no, I know, I know what you're saying. I'm saying there's uh, a fruit spelled uh, I don't know C what U that is. R R A N T S. Uh, Courant. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, switch. It. <laughs> we'll move on. Uh, <laughs> do you consider eating in bed gross? Uh, eating in bed isn't gross, but if you leave crumbs in my bed, we're gonna have a problem. So. Are you kicking people out for crackers in bed? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Do you do you have a significant other? Yes. Uh, he or she? I I don't know these days, so I'm not assuming. You're good. Uh, uh, she and she doesn't really eat in bed. If that's the next question. <laughs> yeah, it's like you know crackers, Ritz. When's the last time you had Ritz? Uh, too long. Yeah, not too much Ritz. longer. Now you brought it to my head. I'm going shopping after this, but uh, yeah, too long. <laughs> Abby and I are both starving, so we have a lot of like it's coincidental now that all the food questions are happening right now. Perfect. Uh, I can't wait. I love food. <laughs> I love food. Um if okay, if you buy fruit, let's say you buy raspberries and one of the raspberries has mold on it, do you chuck the whole package or just chuck the one raspberry and, and go for it? uh assuming i've already paid for it i chuck the one raspberry if i haven't paid for it i'm probably moving on <laughs> <laughs> oh man um, musician life is hard man we don't got a lot of money <laughs> uh, i i dig it um okay here we go why do we say something is out of whack what is whack in the first place why do we say something is out of whack <laughs> whack is I guess straight from wacky right so wacky is strange to us so that's why we say but then it's out of whack so why is it out of whack this is where you the stumped. producer should be working should be googling the, the origin <laughs> yeah please let me know so I don't keep making this a this is way more phone. fun I, I, mean, like that you, <laughs> I like that you tried to answer in earnest Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay, if you could die and come back as one inanimate object, what would it be? A guitar. Oh, lovely. 
Yeah, but it's got to be like a, a nice Gibson. I can't come back as like a Squire or something. Sorry. I was, I was going to ask. No, that's perfect. Um, are your are your <laughs> parents proud of you? Uh, I guess I got to ask him. I, I want to say yes. <laughs> I hope so. Maybe this will spur a conversation when they listen in. I was going to say, are the, do you think your folks will listen to this? Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to them about it. They'll, they'll definitely give a listen. They're, they're supportive. I don't know if they're proud, but they're supportive. No, they're probably proud. Shout out to my, shout out to, to Joe's folks. They're Thanks, big listeners. Mom and dad. <laughs> they listen to every episode. Um, okay. Uh, old Yeller, old school, or no country for old men? No country for old men. Bravo. <laughs> Bravo. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? I actually turned 30 on Monday. Okay. All right. 30 club, dirty 30. Um, do you bite your nails? No. Wow, good for you. Yeah. Do you have any, like, nervous tics? Um, you know, like, I bite my nails when I'm nervous. I probably play with my beard a little more than I normally yeah. do. Or I do, like, tapping, like, on something. Uh, like, some kind of a nervous tap or foot twitch. Uh, you don't smoke? Do you smoke cigs? Uh, used to when drinking, but I've, I've done my very best to kick that. Uh, ear, earmuffs, parents. Don't listen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're both fair. Don't, don't listen. You don't have to hear. Be proud okay. of me still, please. <laughs> He's drinking a polar sparkling water. So. Yes. Yeah. Um, if you could only watch one actor's movies for the rest of your life, Oof. who would you choose? That's such a difficult And this is for everyone. This is for everyone. I have one in mind, so. Hey, you're going to have to tell me yours after I pick mine out. Um, this is a good one. I want to say... I'm going to say Will Smith. Okay. I'm going to pick Will Smith, because there's a lot. Like, I was between Matt Damon, DiCaprio, but I'm going to give it to Will Smith, because he has a lot of versatile roles. I think Will Smith is a safe bet. I think that's a solid, solid... Uh, choice, Abby. What's yours? Uh, I'm, Abby, what's yours? Well, if I, I call it Paige. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I like it. I was gonna go B Steve Buscemi because nice. he's done a ton. Of, like, think about it. You got like Coen Brothers. You got Adam Sandler films. Yep. You know, there's a, a wide range. Or or Bill Murray would also be. A That's guy. a great one. I like that a lot too. My second choice was Sam Jackson. Nice. Yeah, so if you rewatch Snakes on a Plane like three times, we talk about Snakes on a Plane like daily. <laughs> oh, you have to. <laughs> we Please just, uh, we just, uh, everyone follow Bothering the Band on Instagram. We just made um, a post with Flea, the bass player. Uh, oh, wow. from chili peppers flee yeah. on a on an airplane like photoshop like our design our designer shout out enid made it, yeah. and, it and then uh, on the side of the airplane it said fleas on a plane <laughs> real 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 fun <laughs> i need to see it and love it and repost it as yes, soon as please. Really possible <laughs> but with sam jackson back to the movies you get like good fellas you get yeah. a lot of stuff with sam jackson um Okay. Did you ever have braces as a kid? No. I have horrible teeth still. I probably should have. Sorry, Mom and Dad, but no, no, no braces. <laughs> Don't apologize to them. They should have got it for you, bro. I think they tried and I wouldn't let them. Because oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was gonna hurt too much. So I was like, absolutely not. Oh yeah. man. Um Okay, would you rather burp the sound of a gong? Or sneeze the sound of a bowling strike. <laughs> oh, geez. Um, I'm going to go with sneeze because even currently I have a aggressively loud sneeze that literally frightens people. So I don't think it'd be that different for me. Like I'd be, I'm already accustomed to it. You have a, you have a dad sneeze. That's like yeah, a grandpa yeah, sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, who's your favorite uncle? I don't have a favorite uncle. I got to pick one. 
Do you have a uh, least? Do you well, have a least favorite? Is there one that's like a bag of shit? Favorite? Uh, I'll pick a favorite. I'll give my favorite uncle to to Uncle Lewis. Uncle Lewis, big listener. We're calling all the other uncles and telling them they didn't make the cut. Oh God! Well, that's gonna be an awkward Christmas. Thank you. <laughs> do you celebrate Easter? Uh, yeah. How do you feel about peeps? Um, they're good. Marshman. I don't love them, but they're good. All right, let's let's keep going down the food route. Um, what what kind of what's your like go to treat or candy or some shit like that? Go to treat. Oh, I love golden double stuffed Oreos. Golden double stuff. Wow. Yeah. I don't know how I got on that one. I mean, I like the regular Oreos too, but like if there's a treat where I'm just picking one, it's that. Wow. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um. Favorite fast food. Favorite fast food. Uh, I mean, it shifts, but right now, Taco Bell. Okay. Funny you say that. Don't you think, and this is a, a bothering the band debate, don't you think Taco Bell, don't think about like its reputation. Think about its food. Okay. Don't you think Taco Bell is the healthiest fast food? The healthiest fast food. Um, I'll give it a probably, yeah. Yeah. Very minimal br- uh, carbs and mm-hmm. very minimal fried food. Yeah. No, I, I think I agree with you. We're on to something. <laughs> Ab- Abby used to work at a Taco Bell. Nice. Like yesterday. Abby Taco Bell and Abby. <laughs> she quit yesterday. She's like, fuck Can I have a discount still or is that not on the table anymore? <laughs> Friends and family for life. <laughs> I Do you have the recipe it. still? I just walk into any Taco Bell and I go, hey. Hey, it's me. <laughs> you should try that. <laughs> just walk in like, hey, it's me. Just walk into like one in like Salt Lake City and be like, hey, I, I work at a Taco Bell in some, just name anywhere. None of the logistics matter. Just be like, I, I work there. Can Like, uh, I'll take the, just do it like, you know, a thing. Like I'll have the, 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 the employee discount <laughs> can i tell you a quick story that's what this whole podcast is about. so I, I used to work at a movie theater for a decent amount of time in ridgewood i'm not sure if you ever ever were from from new, your new york travels to here but um while i was there the movie plays beyond the pines yeah i think that was goslin who was in that one gosling ava mendez is yeah. in it bradley coops yep 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 um we got a phone call when that was i think we we're doing the premiere of it and we got a phone call because, like, hi, it's Gary from Place Beyond the Pines. And we're like, uh, he's like, Gary. We're like, uh, sorry, we don't know who you are. He's like, I worked on the motorcycles during the movie. We're like, oh, right, Gary, of course. He's like, I'm trying to come in to watch the movie later today. I live in Richwood. <laughs> Is there any way I can get free tickets? <laughs> yeah, Gary, no problem. For you, anything. But, like, this guy called, like, we're going to know the mechanic of the bikes. <laughs> um see that guy the confidence is what worked also his i think the name gary is hilarious for some reason i, I think it really made it the best part of like the whole thing <laughs> i'm gary i need to come see it did you give him the like a couple yeah, passes the, i mean he was gary from place beyond the Pines. we had to give him the tickets <laughs> that's so <laughs> funny what other movies came out when you were working there uh, I worked there for seven years. Every movie at oh, that wow. <laughs> It was my first job from high school because it was like close enough to walking distance. And then I just stayed there through most of like all all of high school, most of like mid college and all that. So I was there for a while. Oh man, that's cool. I never got to work at a movie theater. That's like the one thing I'm like, I've had a million jobs, and that's one thing I never got to do. Did you get to work the projection? Uh, when I went there, they were shifting out of like actual reels Mm -hmm. and then they moved to everything digital. I was going to learn because I was going to be a manager while they were still there, but I screwed up my interview. So I never got to really do it. And also I wasn't figuring out the projector very well anyway. So it wasn't going to end well for anyone involved. (laughs) All right. Let me ask you this at the end of the night. Is this true? At the end of the night, they take all the leftover popcorn and save it for the next day. Yes, absolutely. Oh man. Yeah, especially for like weekdays. They like they try to go as little as possible as making new popcorn to save money. 
but yeah. also it doesn't always work when I take the popcorn home with me and eat it yeah, when you, I get you, home. <laughs> you got to take it home. Yeah. That's what my, uh, when I was in college, a friend of mine, were, my roommate worked at a movie theater, shout out Waterford Lakes. And he would bring home, um, like a like a trash bag full of popcorn and it would sit there for like the week we'd eat it yep. with our hands yep. all of our Just dirty giant bag hands. on the table everything yep. would smell like popcorn i used to smell like popcorn for seven years it was crazy oh i bet sometimes if it's sunny enough i still smell like popcorn like if it's hot enough you can just it'll just creep off me <laughs> that's amazing but i'm backtrack for a minute gary sless was the motorcycle mechanic on a place beyond the pines <laughs> I told I, he wasn't lying. He he got an IMDb credit as the motorcycle mechanic. I, and we should have known in advance. We should have done our we, research. What's it, we premiered please, that movie. we need to find this man. Write his name down. We'll find him on Instagram or something or whatever, and find him and send this to him. I'm going to do I'll that. never forget that never. story. It's just one of the funniest things. From, well, not, there was a lot of stories there, but one of the funnier ones. Uh, let's 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 uh, make Joe and Gary like best friends now. Oh, please. Is he working on my bike that I don't have? <laughs> does he have a photo? Can you see a photo or no? I love now we're just like audio medium. We're just looking up IMDb for the yeah, people please. listening. <laughs> Sorry, listeners. Yeah, so no, no photo. Nope, and it's his only motor motorcycle mechanic credit on IMDb. <laughs> you know that guy's just—that's his proudest moment. And that's why he's more proud to tell us. <laughs> he needed West. somebody to know. Not only that, he just thought that's how things worked in Hollywood. <laughs> he's like, I guess I call and go to the local theater. <laughs> I just state my first name. He didn't give us his last name. He just said oh, Gary. He... It was just Gary. That was it. We were supposed to know that it, that was that Gary. <laughs> hey, it's Gary. <laughs> hey, it's Gary. I mean, I'm, I'm going to come see the film. I would love <laughs> if you didn't even say which film, too. That would have been even better. He just shows up. I think you know which film and just walks in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, what's the most money you've ever found? Oh, uh, I well, in one day I found 70 bucks. In one time I found $50, and it was all during the same movie, the Twilight oh, movie. Yeah. All the preteens love to lose their money because I assume it's from their parents, so they don't really care. It's not like they work for it, so it was just oh, all yeah. over the ground. So you're walking through cleaning up popcorn kernels mm -hmm. and gum and shit, and, and you're finding – you find ever, anything weird, anything like uh, crazy? Besides money? Um, I'm sure we found like condoms and things of that nature, but I think I tried to block that out. I can't really remember at this moment. Uh, Gary, obviously, like, Gary was getting down. <laughs> yeah. Gary, Gary, Gary really was that famous. People knew him. We just did. Gary was getting down with the condoms in the place beyond the pines. Have you seen that flick? It's real sad. Uh, yeah, it's absolutely sad, but I, I still liked it. Very, very it's good. A movie. Great, it was great. It was great. Yeah. Um, Okay, in the song, um, here, you throw this away. Is that a nod to Mitch Hedberg? Um, it is, and it's all, yeah, it is, yes. When, when Jake wrote it, that's how we came up with that title for that. That's exactly how it is, because he's a huge Mitch Hedberg fan. I wish I would have worn my Mitch Hedberg shirt. <laughs> um, has anyone else discovered, talked to you guys about that? Because that's a, that's a pretty deep, deep pool. I would have to ask him, but I'm going to say no. I don't think anyone is. He would have told me if somebody got the rep. Because we like to put little silly things into, like, stories. And, like, if anybody finds out, or into the songs, I mean, if anybody finds out, it, like, validates us. Because, like, oh, they found this. They they dug deep enough to find this. I mean, he's going to be really happy when he hears this. <laughs> yeah. I, I One of my favorite. I remember watching Comedy Central when I was a kid, laughing at that joke. Um are there any other inside bits of song titles or lyrics that you can tell us? Uh, I don't want to tell you. I got, I, okay, want to, okay. I, want, I want you to find it and I want you to talk to us about it. Cause again, me and Jake love talking to people. So if you're at a show and like you've listened in, you found something, tell us about it after. Cause we're going to get a massive kick out of it. Yeah. You heard that people. I think it's great. I think that also rewards the audience too, to like, uh, to, to dive deeper. So way to go. You guys are doing some viral shit there. 
uh, what's one song you want played at your funeral? That I want played? Yeah. Um, Tim Wilson's Booty Man. Because everyone won't get it and they'll laugh their asses off. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever heard that song? I can't say that I know it, but it sounds great. <laughs> it's the worst thing that's ever existed, but it'll, it'll get a kick. Tim Wilson... Booty man. All right. This is going to be part of your will in like a hundred years or whatever. That's why I said it. I assume this is like legally binding. It is. It is. I mean, <laughs> if you, if you pass away and didn't have a will, they would probably use this. I would assume so. I hope I, I, I would prefer you use this for anyone listening. <laughs> uh, we do have an in-house lawyer, so we'll make sure he draws up perfect, the document. Perfect. However, um, I, I'm curious. So when I think of wi- like writing out a will, I, is it shit like this? <laughs> is it just like super it's superlatives and like, it's Random. not like, it's not like legalities where your money goes and who gets your car. It's like, Hey, my favorite thing is this. Well, I'll say this. It probably is supposed to be those things, but my will's really going to piss off a lawyer when he has to go through it and do the nonsense that I've written down or make sure that the nonsense I've written down gets done. It's like send a send a football helmet full of cream cheese to, <laughs> you know, Jake. Yeah, I'd definitely send one to Jake and send a bag of poop on fire to Greg, assuming we don't still live together. But I'm dead already, so I don't even care if we still live together. So it's just going to bother him. <laughs> Oh man! Um, so wh- we, when you put on your shoes, do you yes. put do you do sock sock shoe shoe or sock shoe sock shoe? Oh, sock shoe sock shoe is for serial killers. Absolutely not. Sock sock shoe shoe. Well, because then, like, what happens if you have to move away from the situation, and then you just have one full shoe on, and then you have nothing on your other foot? <laughs> <laughs> you passed my man you passed <laughs> you passed the test yes, yes thank goodness um and another test do you know who bridget fonda is uh no i'm gonna say no i'm sorry okay All how right. about french stewart uh i know the name but only because of the snl skit of um celebrity jeopardy <laughs> yeah fallon isn't it fallon that plays him uh yes yes it is <laughs> yeah so he's a <laughs> hey at least you at least you know of the parody of french stewart yeah yes i do i love the celebrity jeopardies i we used to watch that every day back in high school do you still watch snl at all no 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 i mean i, I was never super into it to begin with but like the the popular things that ended up on like youtube that, that i would watch like that but i i was never really a watcher it's not a statement to it not being good or anything i, I never really cared much for it all right so tell us what you are into besides music other than music what am i into i, I recently started learning to smoke like ribs meat things of that nature so that's I, been a lot of fun a lot of i trial didn't know and, error and failure i didn't know where you're gonna go when you said I recently learned to smoke and then there was a pause. (laughs) Well, I didn't know if I just wanted to say smoke meats or start with ribs and then get to meats, but that's what I'm doing. Uh, Me and Jake have gotten into fishing during COVID. So that that's a lot of fun. And other than that, not not much else. I sit around and watch Netflix. (laughs) Uh, It's very New Jersey to be like, I play in a punk band and fish. (laughs) Very New Jersey, very Chuck Reagan as well. But uh, yeah, yeah. We, just, we just love it. Very Chuck Reagan. You hear that, Abigail? Um, we, we've been trying to get him on the pod for a while. Him and Abby love fishing, so they would get along. Oh, um, perfect. Also, he's from Florida. We're from Florida. Um, shout out Chuck Reagan. Be on the pod. Hot Water Music. Yay. Great. Um, Hell yeah. They just came out with an album. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, can you tell us, since the bandmates aren't here, can you tell us 
one thing about each of the bandmates, but only that you know. Oh, geez. I got to put out secrets now? Well, not um, secrets, but you can be like, uh, Jake has, you know, weird balls or something. I don't know. I, I think that's something that only that I know. Um, <laughs> let's see. Well, I'll say something about Greg that most people don't know. It's a pretty insider thing. He's kind of afraid of lettuce. Hmm. Explain. You like work in too many restaurants? Uh, he, he just has a fear of it. Yeah. I mean, he, he was a server at a restaurant, so maybe it was trauma from one bad shift. But we yeah, used to slap each other with wet lettuce. Yeah, exactly. And he, he was always the one who got hit. <laughs> um. I'd like to acknowledge that you used the correct term server and not uh, the 1950s term waiter or waitress. Oh, no, actually not server. Um, let's see, Jake, something that only I know about Jake. <laughs> mm. Afraid of lettuce. <laughs> it's the first thing that I could think of. Also, I mean, one friendly thing. He loves cats. That, that's one fun thing, but everybody knows that. Um, one thing that only I know about Um, Jake really wants to be able to grow a beard and can. Oh, he's kind of like me. You got a beard going. What do you mean? Yeah, but I can't grow my cheeks here. So it's just like a neck beard. And when it's long, it's really weird. It doesn't go up fire enough. So it's like, it's kind of a beard, but it's not at the same time. I don't know. If if you believe it's a beard. Uh, That that works for me. Then we're good. Uh, Jake's still not good though, to be clear. <laughs> and our basis Ryan, let's let's think great of name. something. Yes, yes, great, great name. Gr- many great men. Um, hmm. Ryan secretly just hates everyone. Oh man, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> secretly hates everybody. Great guy, so lovable, but I think he secretly just despises the world. Uh, then he would get along with us. How does he feel? How does he feel about filling out forms? Doesn't particularly love that. <laughs> not, not one of his uh, pastimes. All right. Um, so, what's tell us what's going? What's next for the band? Um, per, you know, pretend we don't know because you know. Tell the listeners what's next for the band. Promote the shit out of that new album coming out. Tell us the deets, where to follow you, and all that jazz. Perfect. Um, so we we have our album coming out April twenty second. It's called The Glory. It's The Glory, The Defeat. Um, you can find us on on Facebook. We're just old currents you could find us on instagram as well we have a band camp out there if you look up on youtube we have our first three singles that have come out like you said earlier we have here you throw this away that was our first uh, music video come out we have no signs of life and the most recent one we released this month is called the glory um and that album release party is going to be may 21st at debonair music hall in Teenix. so if you guys are free please come out we're going to have a blast out there very shortly, we're going to be releasing the the lineup for that night. Once we get a couple of more uh, eyes dotted and some T's squared off, so um, yeah, I, I think that's that's most of what we got for that. Did you say April twenty second for your album? Yes. You know what else comes out that day? Just to circle back, Nicholas Cage's new movie. Coincidence. <laughs> Uh, which oh, is man. the unbearable weight of massive talent. So there you go. Uh, that day is cursed. They'll, no one will ever be able to live up to that again. Uh, that's great. What a great day. We'll listen to good music during the day and go see Nicolas Cage at night. I'm going to walk into the theater and just be like, hey, I did the Nick Cage stuff on this <laughs> movie. Um, I was promised two tickets. Just say you ironed his shirts. That should be yeah. enough. I, I'm going to ask for two tickets, even though it's like, oh, I'm on, the only one there. <laughs> I need two tickets. I need those three. Are away I for need... free anyway. <laughs> oh, man. What's the last movie you saw in the theater? In the theater? Um, what is the last movie I saw in the theater? 
I try to avoid it because it's just horrible trauma working there. But um, I want ah, uh, it was Spider Man, the newest Spider Man. Far from home or something. Yeah, the the one with all the guys. <laughs> the one with all the guys. Uh, <laughs> oh man, I was going to ask something else. I just it blanked right there. Um, anyways, this has been great. Oh, I got it, Joseph. Do yeah. you, does anyone call you Joey in your life? Oh yeah, too many people. Um, really? Originally, not, not that it actually bothers me. I'm just being silly. But originally, it was just like my family, and it wasn't like my yeah. immediate family. It was like my cousins. They would call me Joey because I had a lot of older cousins, so I was the younger one. They would call me mm-hmm. Joey. But then somehow it followed me into my work life for some reason. Not somehow. I know why. Because the guy who's in charge of Verizon, his name was Joe. So they just started calling me Joey B. So they didn't confuse me with the other Joe when they were like talking to other people. So my cousins and then my work life. It was a very weird grouping of people. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I'm going to call you Joseph. So, that works for me. you know, something about Joey once you're over like eight. Can't do it. Don't, don't love it. <laughs> well, that's our show. Uh, everyone check out Old Currents. Um you know, like I said, great, great um, punk rock, but not, you know, pigeonholed into that punk rock. Good rock and roll music from 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 Jersey and follow Bothering the Band on all the socials as well. That's our program.